is evangelist mm. kibali stampede yeah nimeokoka na Yesu ni bwana mm -hmm. bila tashwishi wala dukuduku lolote naenda binguni mm -hmm. una binguni um, um, I've been in the ministry right. September 10 after 15 years in ministry wow. where I started nikiwa dancer Nick alikuwa DJ wetu <laughs> uh, did my crusades at archives na horn speaker na kwa mabasi for a long time then to kaingia high school, kaingia universities, kaingia churches, and here we are. All right. Yes, that so. is an amazing long history. Ah, yeah. and along the way, you didn't give up. I didn't give up. Then God can bless my wife. Mm -hmm. Whoever finds a wife finds a good thing and mm -hmm. obtains favor. Mm -hmm. So ministry peak and another level. <laughs> By the grace of God. <laughs> Again, a ministry, a family. Yeah. And the family is growing. You are, growing. you are sharing with me that the family is growing. Kidogo, kidogo, neza nzisha church. Nubani sasa. Ama church ili anza. Masa church ina grow. Ama Sunday school, neza nzisha Sunday school. Wherever two or three are gathered. <laughs> yes. Asasa two or three. Mm -hmm. The other one. Yeah, my firstborn king. Mm -hmm. the second. Mm -hmm. Itwa Adalia Zuriel. And the mom purity kibali. All right, yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. I was just catching up with Kenyatta. I was like, Hi, <laughs> how are you? He was so energetic and excited. I'm fine. What's your name? Kenyatta. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I see he's getting that from you because I watched a video, mm. video of you on Instagram. I mean, William Tuchunguza's Instagram. So I headed over to your Instagram account and I, I saw him worshipping with you. Yeah, You're he, raising a worshipper. He he's an afwata nyai pole pole. Mm -hmm. He can worship na pia naomba na mm. tongues. Mm. So we should pray in the spirit and to speak in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So we should be All right. Yeah. So you can just hold it close right there that people okay. can hear what you're saying. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. and you know, you mentioned that um, you are a dad. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, now you are a dad, yes. father of two. Yeah. Now imagine today being Father's Day. Mm -hmm. There are lessons that you picked from your dad. Yes. That now maybe you're passing on to your, to your family. Yeah. Yes, yeah. maybe you can just share those lessons, one and two. Yeah. Um, I'm a bishop son. I'm a PK. Oh. And... Uh, Ali, si to grow church, to me grow ya uh, as a church. And one of the things ni learn from my dad ili kwa lazima kwa priest. Your priesthood lazima we pass. Na weze ku, kuwa wewe ndi kwa in charge of your family. And uh, one of the things ni lipenda about ni yo ku bring the Jesus factor mm. in your family. The Jesus factor in everything that you do. The Jesus factor also in training and teaching your children to grow in the ways of God. Mm -hmm. That is the thing. One of the things you learn from here. And number two, winning souls. Mm -hmm. Heartbeat ya budangu ni kuwin souls. Mm -hmm. And heartbeat yangu sai ni kuwin souls. Iyo ndiyo vitu ni me learn from here mostly. Mm -hmm. yes. And I believe you're also passing it on to your, to your children. Yeah. Anu ma aposto wakubwa sana kami. Come on, could speak in terms yeah. of such a young age, yes. then it's really, it's really amazing. Mm. All right. Maybe there's mm, what another question. What is the most, most scariest thing as a dad, you as a dad, that scares you? What scares me yeah. as a dad? Yeah. Uh, not to, not to do what I'm supposed to be doing as the priest or as the father to my family and as, as, a, as a husband to my wife. Mm. You know, every day ukiamuka, one of the things you learn having a family is to be patient. Iyo menifunza ku, lazima kuwe patient. And things you learn na nina ugopa sana, ni kukosa. Two things I had, kuenda hell na kuvati. Sipendi, sipendi. Kosa kuenda binguni na kukosa do. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Iyo pana. Puvati, jua watu hii, wame relax. Every day kiamuka and expect. Kila kitu ina run, kila kitu ina happen, mm. pampas ina patikana, food ina patikana, mm. wife ame pata kenya na need kupata, mm. and things ina run, when it's ina faku run. Hakuna mm. kitumbaka kwa mka na hakuna do. But Ama usha ya mko kakosa do. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then kukaidate. Where is he speaking tongues hapo? <laughs> so, <laughs> eh, so lazima nianze kufikiria what next, what mm. to do. Mm. But God ame kwa graceful to us. Mm. Uh, 
mm. aje tuachanisha mm. aje tuachilia mm. cause kama king mtoi wangu first born ni miracle mtoto wangu second born ni miracle because ka king after mezaliwa ali develop a, a complication kidogo akakuwa kenyata for some time the bills zika come and then time yenye mezaliwa to the next day covid inatokea mm. so ilikuwa hard time but god alisimama na sisi adalia comes here again tena kuna complication mm. uh, wife aka develop complication kenyata tena and god pia alisimama na sisi and mm. so far tunasema ni ebeneza mm. mmekuwa great to us so naogopa shida na kwenda jahanam but i'm sure your head pia unafanya kazi kwa bidii yeah, yeah, yeah. cuz hizo diapers mm. azichezi na renta itambui yeah, itambui yeah. <laughs> title yeah. all right there's another quote that i found here online mm. somewhere my father didn't tell me how to live he mm. lived and let me watch him mm. do it yeah yes and so many times we we are usually as parents why am i talking like i'm an I'm aspiring parent mm. we aspire you know we we as parents yeah. usually yeah. tell <laughs> tell our children yeah. fanya hii fanya hii but you do the opposite yeah. yes we forget that they are always watching mm. yes is there an instant maybe you are doing something and yada was busy busy observing you yeah. <laughs> so unamwambia fanya hii but wewe ana uza uliko nafanya hii sema no daddy wewe ulifanya hiyo acha tufie tufanye hiyo Mm -hmm. Yeah mm, one of the things I learned mm. very fast from mm. me mm. ilikuwa uh, mimi jaribu kusukuma maybe four hours every night prayers so tulikam ku realize na, ma, na my wife mm. that ni nikienda sitting analala chini anaanza ku pray and then ivo ivo kidogo kidogo then mm. mamake pia ni mtu wa daytime most na saya me develop pia night so akijifungia kwa ruma naomba yeye anaanza ku speak in tongues venye mamake ana speak in tongues so and then hiyo ku kwa kuva smart na kwenda kinyozi yeye sasa ukatae kumpeleka kinyozi kienda kunyolewa ni wao ni wao lazima ufanye hiyo wenyewe and wonder he has the same haircut as you yes tunajaribu and those are just your biological biological children yes. now we have spiritual children now yeah, i'm sure you meant a few very very, very many yeah. yes okay They tell us more about them they were develop mm. your I, I, i'm a man of prayer mm. or may develop your system yao may adapt the way to pray fasting uh na kukuwa radical sin ni sin atui valishi ki suti atikai kitu poa ka ni sin ni sin uh, i have few of my sons when ni wa radical sana sisi nixa anaweza kuambia mm -hmm. kama ni dhambi ni dhambi yeah, kama ni straight ni kuka yeah. straight mm -hmm. so kuna hizo vitu ndogo ndogo ni wana wana catch for me mm -hmm. yeah mm. and how is it raising a generation especially our generation it can be it can be tricks i know yeah, yeah, it can yeah. be tricks because yeah. this generation I've told to them yeah. they don't believe in God. Very true. How do you convince them that God is real? God loves you and you even draw them to salvation. Um you know we are created in the image of God. Mm -hmm. Bible say when he wanted something he spoke to it. When he wanted fish he spoke to the waters. When he wanted plants he spoke to the ground. When he wanted the stars he spoke to the feminine. But this time when he wanted to create me and you he spoke to himself and he say let us create man in our own image and likeness in other words in a manisha to make create wa ku become other creators because he's the creator mm. to make create wa ku become other kings because he's the king to make create wa ku become other lights because he's the light mm. so one of the things ni realize ukitoa fish kwa maji ni fish na kufa ama ni maji ni fish ukitoa mea kwa mchanga ni mea na kufa ama ni mchanga so ukikuwa disconnected from god ni god anakufa ama ni wewe so sisi tuna need more ni unatumianga energy more unatumianga energy mingi sana ku to follow vitu za mungu than ku follow vitu za mungu oh all right i so, didn't see that coming like, maybe repeat that repeat that point. energy yenye unatumia ku mm. vitu za world na sin mm. ni more sana kuliko energy unatumia kupenda mungu because ukipenda mungu na ukiwak na yeye wenangi wewe na hii nyama kwa gikanon mm. kuna the third person na kwa yako the holy ghost na mm. holy ghost ako hapo as a helper na kuku guide na kuku direct on your ways mm. because ukikuwa unapenda mungu scripture inasema my life is hid in Christ in God kumaanisha if my life is hid in Christ in God then everything I'm doing I'm doing according to his perfect will mm. the way I think the way I associate myself with people the way I talk the way I walk with people the way 
uh, I do my things na do kila kitu yenye na do ndio ni glorify God. So me generation yangu najua ni watu wanajua truth wanaskianga truth wanasoma the scriptures wanaingia social media kuna scriptures ukifungua tv kuna show yenu inaendelea ukifungua tv nyingine kuna show nyingine inaendelea ukiingia instagram kuna msia anaongea about scripture tunajua the truth but tuna choose kwenda the wrong way sisi one of the things in na kill generation yangu more than cancer more than covid more, more than ebola ni ignorance mm. because we know the truth the bible say fear god Say to go to a place and we don't fear God, to go to a place and we don't fear our parents. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the truth. No preacher, no sheikh, no Muhammad will ever pray for you, your days to be added. The Bible says, honor your father and mother and your days will be added. Only them can activate long life in your life. And that is the only commandment that comes with a promise. True. The promise of a long life. Very true. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I, uh, 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 we'll go back to God. Yes. I'll go back to God. That's why I have married to Piazzi work because the Jesus factor, you go. Haiko kabisa. Unaole wade kuna atu after Valentine's. Kata biyambaya. Unajua. Kwa sababu hatu jala o God to become the same. Speaking of obeying and honoring, at this time and age, how can one now honor their parents, honor your father, Obey your father yeah. in the Lord. Because yeah. Bible in the Lord. In the Lord. Yes. The manual is there. That is the scripture. Mm. You see, honor is to esteem. Mm. Honor is to honor is to esteem. A man who does not honor is like a castrated bull. <laughs> a man who does not honor is like a castrated bull. You will never give authority when there is no authority upon your life. You will never give orders when there, is, there are no orders in your life. Uh, you need to honor and to respect those who are mm -hmm. in our lives, our fathers, mm -hmm. our spiritual fathers, our mentors, mm -hmm. and people who are ahead of us. Because there are mantles that are not given to strangers. Mm -hmm. There are mantles, mantles that are given to sons. Because parent ano nanga kitu enye uoni, uyu mze ano nanga kitu enye uoni, but the moment ame ono meanza kukachap na kujua what you are supposed to do according to the scripture, then the mantles in achilio kwa sisi. Yes. We, we dishonor those that are ahead of us that we even miss the mantle. Yeah, and, and, and that's, ah. the sad, that's the saddest um. thing. It is foolishness ku ban bakery because you can a piece of bread. Mm -hmm. Ni foolishness ku kanyangi ya shoulders za dad, ni ushine kwa church ndio uweze kujulikana na giftings then unapiga huyo buda mangoto aende chini mm. for you to shine mix kuku hapa huyu jamaa hujui story yake tuko na lala naye kwa alta upc church flani uthiru mm -hmm. na buda yake alikuwa anatupatia opportunity mm -hmm. to shine tufanye concerts tunakanyanga shoulders zake to shine but ingekuwa foolishness for us ku knock kichwa yake tukimweka down mm -hmm. so in generation yenye tuna need ku honor na ku respect the last thing ni kushtue. Yes. Statistics ina tuonesha wale wase wanazikuwa langata. 64% ya watu wanazikuwa every year ni age 18 to 28. But that's a young age. We are being buried by our parents instead of us. Uh, Wazika kwa zwa merest. Mm. Wajadai. Mm. Kato ya taka jalipa help. Kamesha kufa na accident kakio kamelewa. Mm. Mzazi jalipa ata loan. But I'm, do you know why we are dying? Because we no longer honor them. Mm -hmm. We no longer respect them. That's why I big up to all the fathers out there mm -hmm. who are working hard, making sure that their families things in a run, making sure that wana raise watu kwa njia za mungu, making sure that vitu zinafanyika, venye zinafak, fanyika according mm -hmm. to the scripture. Mm -hmm. yeah. What I'm getting from you that honoring is key, key. for long life. Very. The utter zero kid science as simple as that. Mm. And you're talking about honoring your parents yeah. and even the teenagers honoring your parents. Those yeah. the, the, you're now speaking to your spiritual children. Yeah. Now speak to your, your now your son. He's two years, right? Yes, He's please. two years. Yeah. Uh, picture him as a teenager. Mm. Speak to him now. What I could tell my generation now mm. and my son mm. is the secret to long life is honor, you know? Learn all you can, say, from your parents. Kuna mtu wana wish nge kwa na mzazi, nime wana wasewa me post. Yes. Wana sema, I wish nge kwa na mzazi, nime post, nime appreciate, nime buy a gift, nime ambie thank you, happy Father's Day. Mm -hmm. But hawana. But where God ame kupe opportunity, ukona uyo mzazi, honor them, honor them.
ati unaweza sacrifice 1500 2000 3000 uba your damn handbag okay. na haujai baya babako ata credit ya so shame on you shame we need to honor we need to love on them we need to learn things that our fathers were doing the right things Amazing. Mm. That is a powerful message. Mm. When he gets 15, uh, aki, aki click 13, to yeah. after clip to more. Yeah. 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 <laughs> message to King Yara. Special, yeah. Yeah. Me special yeah. message. Mm. So you'll be sharing a uh, word for today during Inspiration Vibe to Kimalizia. Mm. A quick one before you send your shout outs and everything else. Okay. Uh, it's a, just a mind teaser. Uh -huh. What do you call? What do you call sister to your wife's son? What do I call sister, sister to, to my your wife's son? To my wife's son. Wife's son. Yeah. Sister. <laughs> sister. Like in a job. Your wife's son. <laughs> your daughter. <laughs> that is your daughter. <laughs> hey, yeah, sister to your wife's son. Sister to your wife's son. Yes, uh, Yes, sad to your wife. I know. I just shook her. You pull up from the top. What? See, your wife has yeah. a son. Yes, King. Now, 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 sister, sister can okay, you name? Adalia. Una muita aje? Una muita aje? My daughter. Exactly. Hey, hey, hey. Now, where can people get you on social media so they can interact with you? And also, they there are those that wish to be mentored by you. Mm, your social media handle. Yes. Zodan is Stampede Kibali. Nothing else, guys. Yeah, Stampede Zodan. Kibali. Uh, yeah. Head over to Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, TikTok, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uko Mtampata, yeah. Stampede Kibali. If you yeah. want to be mentored by him, if that word has encouraged you, mm. kindly reach out to him and mm. Mtongea Mengi Pali Kwa DMs. Mm. All right, guys?